Hey there, welcome back guys. In today's video, we're going to be going over tree support uh, for your Ender 3 S1 Pro if you're using Cura 5.6.0. You have a project and it's just falling off the bed. Uh, it's not working out. Sometimes you think it's the bed. Sometimes you think it's the, you know, the, the extruder. It could be anything. Uh, or it could just mean that you need your project that you're printing needs support. Some do and some don't. But in this video, we're going to be going over that. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get started. So I'm just going to take this file and drag it into my project here. Um, and you know, you can feel free to follow along. I'll leave a link to this file or with yours. As you can see, this is really big and I don't need it that big. Um, so what I'm going to do is scale it down uh, just right here. And uniform scaling is selected. I think I'm going to leave it at 30%. See, that's a good size for me. You decide what size is good for you. But unfortunately, you know, um, it's going to need some support. So I'm just going to scroll down on the, uh, remember I'm using the Cura slicer. Okay. So you go and you see where it says support right here and uh, generate support and see where it says normal. Uh, I'm going to select um, tree. See that? And now I, for this particular one, I'm just, you can change it. Um, you know, support overhang angle 51%. You could leave it like that as default whatever you choose. Um, there's actually a document here uh, that's actually supplied by Cura. Uh, yeah, by, by the folks who actually made it. Um, so if we can go here, type in Cura tree support, right? Just type that in. I'll leave a link to this in the description. And it basically explains how it works, right? And and a, and, and a simple uh, one, two, three uh, explanation, it, it salvages your whole, you see, you could put 40 in this particular one, whatever angle works for you. It salvages the whole print so that um, some print, some supports will go around the whole thing and it's just really hard to take off. So again, you decide which one you want to use. So in this case, we're going to use tree. Okay. And I'm just going to go here and slice it. And then of course, this will take about 55 minutes. We'll just um, save it to disk. Okay, I'll save her to the, I'll just, in this case, I'm going to take the name out and uh, let's see, put it on the desktop and there it is. And then we can do a preview, right? See, here's the preview. See, and the supports will be, um, you know, somewhere around there along the side. Now, if you can't see it, we can just um, spin the object around, look at it from the above, look at it from there. See, it's on the side because if you recall, it doesn't have any arms. Um, and so that's probably right over there and there. And over here, so let's see if we can spin it around. Um, we'll just put it right over here. See that? And it's basically going around the sides. Now, if we want to spin it, right, we can rotate it just by clicking over here, not scale, but on the move. Okay. So as you can see, we'll put them over there, but we can't really see because, um, you know, the, the, the print is, you know, going to do what it needs to do but we know that it will have tree supports. Oh, actually, you know what? Uh, if you really want to see the supports, what we can do is huh, put them there, make them bigger, right? In his actual size. So if we go to prepare, right? And remember, I'm not going to print the, this big. I don't need something like this unless I was going to put it in my backyard um, and then wait for it. It takes a little bit. Um, and it's just harder to see because the, the uh, 12 hours, I, 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 yeah, there's no way I'm printing that. You could paint it and put it on your front lawn with some pink flamingos if you like. All right. So then now, remember, we have tree support, but we can't see them unless you go to the preview. See? Voila. So this is how it would look, right? Of course, given that it was smaller, we're not going to have such big supports on this thing. You might have some at the bottom, but for sure, um, probably at the bottom here and then maybe on the sides because I don't, I don't see, um, it, it doing the full support structure on something, uh, smaller scaled at. remember we scaled it at 30%. So we're just going to undo it. Right. And then what we can do is we can go back to our project file right here, the gnome or genome. And then of course we can preview it again. Right. And then now remember, we're going to scale it down because I do not want this on my front lawn, uh, but you can, uh, we're going to do 30% or if it's something I'd want on my desk, to be honest with you. Okay. And then we go to back to, um, remember these are the tree supports. Now we're going to slice it 
and thankfully 55 minutes instead of 12 hours um, and then what we'll do is we will go to preview see and it's there but you can't really see it because um, again it's um, it's been scaled down but if you look really closely see there it is right there on the side and on the sides so without knowing me knowing that and moving forward let's uh, have a look at the printer and see how this thing is actually doing hopefully it's better than before all right so there it is check it out halfway through the print we can see the supports uh, the way they were shown in the preview in the current application um, so far so good sometimes I wonder how this actually is able to just hold up and stay on the board without you know falling off well supports sometimes certain items need support based on their size or structure because some certain things just can't be printed into thin air but as you can see it works out really well check out this hyperlapse uh, you could actually do the hyperlapse with the camera um, and it just speeds things up and you can add it to your Instagram or YouTube look at that look at how it just printed the hat um, really pointy I, I wouldn't recommend keeping this in the, uh, in your kids pocket because it's really sharp I tapped it look at the supports though kind of neat if you wait 10 to 15 minutes while your stuff is on the board it'll just come off naturally you'll just be able to like tap it with your finger look what look at that and including the supports too. see how easily those came off now when it's hot you're not gonna have that same experience so just wait and then you know you'll have a nice experience and you can print whatever you want after as long as you clean off the board because you can't have all that stuff on there but look at that little gnome kind of neat huh um, and you know again look at that he printed really well it's possible because he was just too small. He was designed to be bigger. And some uh, prints, when you scale them down, um, you do run into that problem. Uh, well, they'll, they'll just, the print will turn into a disaster and have you thinking like, oh my God, my board. Oh my God, my extruder. Oh my God, my support. But it's just a process of elimination that you have to you know, figure out uh, where there's, you might wanna print something as simple as a fish that takes three minutes. Anyway, I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.